You don't want to move to Richmond, Virginia if you're retiring. You do not want to retire here. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm Mary Burris with Liz Moore and Associates. I'm the RVA Insider, and I grew up here in Richmond, Virginia, and I love to help people find their home here or sell their home here. I know a lot about this town, so today I'm going to tell you why you don't want to retire in Richmond, Virginia. I mean, because a lot of people think Richmond is a great place to retire because of the location. I mean, it's in the middle of the East Coast. It's easy to get to New York or Florida or, you know, to a big city or the mountains or the beach. Those those are great things. That's true. But let me tell you something. Here in the Mid-Atlantic, we have interesting weather, especially in Richmond, because we're in kind of this weird little dip place in between the ocean and the mountains. So the climate here has become more temperate over the years. Now, you might be thinking, oh, Mary, that sounds amazing. Come on, I'm from Buffalo, New York, and I want a temperate climate. Yeah, okay, sure you do. (laughs) Let me tell you a little more about that. When I was a kid, the ponds used to freeze over. It used to get really cold here, and it doesn't get cold here anymore. For the last several years, uh, winters have hovered around 50 degrees for the highs. Now, with the exception of, oh, I don't know, like five or six years ago, this now it's February 2024, about five or six years ago, we had a really brutal, long, cold winter with snow. But that was the exception to the rule. So that can happen because we have these Arctic dips sometimes. But normally, right now, winter is around 50-ish for the highs. Now, you're thinking, that sounds amazing. But you know, it's not great because then when it doesn't get into a deep freeze, it doesn't freeze the mosquitoes. So then we have bad bug years, which kind of is horrible. Um, The other thing is, is it gets hot here in Richmond. So that's something to think about. The month of August is is horrible. It's humid and it's in the upper 90s. Although when I was growing up, it used to get into the hundreds regularly in the summertime. It doesn't really do that so much anymore. At least it hasn't in the last several years. But that's something to, to keep in mind. Um, If you have an easy way to get out of town, then maybe that's appealing to you. Okay, housing prices are rising rapidly. Last year, the average home here, um, in the last 12 months, the prices increased $30,000. And that's expected to continue as more and more people want to live here. So keep that in mind. Right now, there are still some affordable 55 plus communities in the surrounding areas of Richmond. Uh, Powhatan, uh, Goochland, Atlee, Ashland area, New Kent, you'll find some beautiful 55 plus communities uh, being built and um, that already exist if you don't want to do yard work and that's the kind of place you're thinking about. Um, They're starting in the upper 300s right now and upwards. Uh, If you want to live in the city, you're going to pay, you know, lots above that. Five in the fan where I live, which is in the heart of Richmond, um, houses, the average house is $750,000 right now, roughly. So keep that in mind. More reasons not to move to Richmond. Um, There's no major sports teams. Just be aware. If you want a major sports team, you're going to have to go to DC or somewhere else. Uh, We don't have that here. We are building a new stadium for our farm team which is the Flying Squirrels. So that's something to look forward to, yay! We have traditionally light traffic, but guess what? Traffic is increasing because more and more people are moving here. And I will say that um, Interstate 95, which runs north and south right through Richmond, is a parking lot on the weekends all summer. And 64, going east towards the beach, is pretty much a parking lot all summer almost every day. So if you're gonna go on either of those roadways, you're gonna have to get up early and go on a weekday, (laughs) pretty much. Get up really early and go on a weekday. Okay, having said that, we have the allergies here. People get allergies here. We have a interesting mixture of pollens and pollution that most people, Uh, or a lot of people when they move here, they just get terrible allergies. They've never had allergies their whole life and they come here and they have allergies. I'm a native, so I don't have allergies. Not to say that all natives don't have allergies because that's not true, but um, I guess I'm just lucky that way. And 
If you don't want to drive in your retirement, Richmond has horrible public transportation. Horrible. And there's no sign or hope that it's going to get any better anytime soon. We have buses for public transportation. The routes are horrible. They take forever to get anywhere. It is terrible. So please keep that in mind. Um, if you do move here because you want to live here and you want better public transportation, please lobby for that. A metro here would be fantastic. So with that, I've told you why you shouldn't move here if you're retired, but if you're stubborn and you still want to come, reach out to me and I'm happy to help you find your home. I'm Mary Burris with Liz Moore and Associates. This is RVA Insider. Remember to like and subscribe so you get all of my videos. And uh, have a thank you for watching and have an awesome rest of your day.